child, as you might guess. And uh, from the time I was little, I've been obsessed with like farming and animals and such. But I really, really, really always loved donkeys and mules. I thought they were the coolest. Way cooler than horses. Horses are like not cool to me. Donkeys and mules are very cool. And uh, I always wanted one. But I, we didn't really have um, the land. I always had goats and chickens. But we didn't have a whole lot of space. So I didn't ever, didn't ever get a donkey as a child. And uh, this infatuation <laughs> went uh, pretty far. It's still going today, actually. But it um, really seeped into my high school years as well, when I finally was able to like make my own money. I just took it to Tractor Supply every week and I blew it on all the books and magazines about how to raise donkeys and mules. In fact, I'm probably the only person in Powell Valley High School who could have told you how to artificially inseminate a donkey correctly. <laughs> and I was quite proud of that. <laughs> and then of course, you know, we must, you know, grow up and go to college and, you know, they don't allow livestock in dorms or in the Johnson City uh, corporation limits. So I did without a lot of critters. Uh, they had to stay at home. But then just recently I acquired a donkey. A little six month old baby. Her name is May. She's a standard donkey so she's not one of the miniature ones. You know, She can't sleep in the bed or anything. Uh, but she's real sweet. I wish she was here right now. <laughs> she could just be prancing around and getting in your tea and all that fun stuff. So, Well I said all that to say this. This is a song called Woe Mule. <laughs>